In this video, we will demonstrate the proper steps required to install and set up the Kumo Cloud app on your mobile device. As a refresher, Kumo Cloud is an app that allows owners to remotely control their Mitsubishi electric systems from either a smartphone or a tablet. Kumo Cloud works with all Mitsubishi electric indoor units that were manufactured in the year 2012 or newer. In order for you to control your equipment using the Kumo Cloud app, you will need to have the Kumo Cloud wireless interface connected to your indoor unit. The part number for the Kumo Cloud wireless interface is shown on the screen. The Kumo Cloud wireless interface should be installed by an HVAC professional who will connect the interface to its designated connector on the indoor unit circuit board. Step 1. Downloading the Kumo Cloud app. The Kumo Cloud app is available to download from Google Play, the Apple App Store, and Amazon Apps. Once the Kumo Cloud app has been downloaded, you may open the app and proceed to the next step. Step 2. Create an account. Once you open the Kumo Cloud app, the home screen will appear, followed by the Create Account screen. Here, the owner of the equipment will enter an email address and create a password. Tapping Next brings up the terms and conditions of use. After tapping I Agree, the Zone screen will appear. This is where you will receive a message saying, No equipment is connected. Ask your professional installer to complete the setup. Before adding the indoor units, please make sure to have your login credentials saved somewhere for future use. Step 3. Wi-Fi Credentials Next, we're going to add the indoor units to the Kumo Cloud app. It is important to note that the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities will need to be enabled on your wireless device. At this point, make sure you have the Wi-Fi router's network name and password readily available. In most cases, this information can be found on the router's label. If the password has been changed, you will need the new password in order to complete the setup. It is important to note that the Kumo Cloud wireless interface will only connect to a 2.4 GHz channel. If the owner's router is dual band, make sure the wireless device you are working on is connected to the 2.4 GHz network and it has a good signal. Step 4. Wireless Interface Preparation Now, let's take a look at the wireless interface that is connected to the indoor unit. There are three LEDs on the front face of the wireless interface. The green LED should be on, indicating power to the unit. The amber LED should be off. This LED only lights up when the interface is processing. The blue LED should be displaying a blinking pattern to confirm its status. To confirm the wireless interface is ready to connect, you will need to make sure the blue LED is displaying a rapid four-time flash. If it isn't, simply press and hold the Bluetooth button for five seconds. After a short delay, the wireless interface will go into Bluetooth Connect mode, which is the rapid four-time flash on the blue LED. Note, if you're going to add multiple indoor units, it will be helpful to have the MAC address available so that you can differentiate which interface you are adding, since you may see multiple wireless interfaces pop up during the discovery process. Step 5. Add the indoor unit. On the home screen of the Kumo Cloud app, tap on the settings icon. On the settings screen, tap system setup. This will allow you to access the installer settings. Tap installer settings to continue. At this point, the installer login is required to continue the process. After entering the installer login information, you will be prompted to enter the technician's or company name and phone number. This information will pop up anytime there is an issue that requires an HVAC professional in order to resolve the problem. Next, you will be prompted to enter the name of the job site. This could be named as home, store number, vacation house, etc. Next, you will need to input the wireless network credentials. In some cases, both the network name and password will need to be filled out, although the device may already be connected to the wireless network. Please remember that the information you enter is case sensitive. In addition, no special characters can be used in the network name or a password. 
After inputting the network credentials, the app will prompt you to locate and pair the indoor unit with your router via Bluetooth. Please use the Kumo Cloud app to complete this pairing. Using your device's Bluetooth settings to pair instead of the app may cause pairing issues with the app. Once you find the indoor unit in the app, refer to the wireless interface's MAC address to confirm you're connecting to the proper indoor unit. Once confirmed, tap on the indoor unit. If the wireless interface was previously used, you will be asked to provide the WPA key for the wireless interface. Please allow up to five minutes for the pairing process to take place. Once your wireless interface and router have been paired, you will be prompted to change the zone name of the indoor unit. This could be a name indicating the location of the indoor unit, such as master bedroom, living room, attic, etc. Once you enter the name, tap next. At this point, you will be prompted to configure your indoor unit's installer settings. After you choose your settings, tap save to continue. Next, the app will ask if there are more indoor units to connect. If you have more units, please repeat the process. In this scenario, we will choose No, then click Finish Setup. Step 6. Control Equipment Congratulations! Your system setup is now complete. You are now looking at the indoor unit you just added. Click on the zone and turn on the unit to confirm proper operation of the equipment. You can also turn the unit off to test if the app is working properly. This concludes the Kumo Cloud installation and setup tutorial. For additional Kumo Cloud resources, please visit www.mylinkdrive.com and download the operation and owner manuals. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes of Tech Tips.